fucking up everything. Um, he said, Bill Gale Wano says, if you walking down the street in the evening and you hear someone behind you and see it's a glider, you are re- are you relieved? He's asking you. Um, love. Is a glider a gun? A glider is a white person. If, you, if you're walking down the street late at night and you hear some l- loud voices, you hear some rockers, and people you hear footsteps coming behind you, and you turn around and you see over some here, white I'm crossing the street every time. Every single time, because over here where I stay, if you see white folks coming down the street, they buying drugs. Them people might rob me. I'm definitely crossing the street and getting my things out of my purse. <laughs> Y'all to show up with that. I ain't lying. Have you ever crossed the street when a sun person approached you? What's a sun person? A black person. Um, depends on how you look. Depends on what his vibe is. Yes, I have crossed the street. What if he's like people. bopping around with a poosh heisty mask on and oh no. First things first, if I see a man walking like um, maybe two weeks ago, I saw a group of uh, young guys and a girl walking down the street as I was coming. It was dark. Um, they could have easily gotten me. But as they were walking toward me, I say, good evening, gentlemen. And then I looked at her. I said, and Miss Lady, how you doing? So they like, good evening, ma'am. I said, all right, y'all, be safe. So then one of the boys was like, excuse me, ma'am, can I get a dollar? I'm like, yeah, baby, take your dollar. You know, have a good night. Yeah, that shit don't work all the time. I I could have crossed the street. I could have when I saw all these young people. Because, again, they could have beat me up, took my taser, my purse, my phone, everything. But I didn't feel that. But, you know what I'm saying? So I don't automatically cross the street when I see They taxed you, though. Huh? Um, They taxed you. Hey, um, no, they let's get 300 likes. Him, nah, y'all get me. No y'all get me lazy. You don't know the West y'all... Side. Let me hold tell you something about on. the West Side of Chicago. Hold on, let, let me hold on. One second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Y'all getting lazy on the likes, man. If I don't say hit the like button every t- 10 minutes, they, it's just, the shit just go dead. Please hit the like button. Go to Rumble everybody, hit the like. Everybody who's not, who has not hit the like button, hit it. We're trying to get to 300. I thought we already had 300. I'm letting you this woman, you got this, 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 this woman from Chicago, from the ground, doing all the work on the ground. She's on here. You can ask her questions. You can super chat your questions for her. There's no nobody has anything to say to her. Nobody's hitting the like button. Yeah, I'm about to go. I think y'all ahead, telling me y'all. to move on. I, I guess I guess I should move on to another topic, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but go ahead. Um. Say, say what you were going to say, man. Um. No, I was saying that. Okay. So the difference between and we talked about this in our uh, host chat. The difference between the west side of Chicago and the south side of Chicago when it comes to black people is that the south side left the south, the west side brought the south. So on the west side, we are still very, 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 very country, southern, cultured people. So it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? I could go to the gas station and say, hey, can I get a dollar? Can you buy me this pop? Can you do this? Whatever. We are free-handed people over here. Because I'd rather give you a dollar than have you take it from me. So no, they didn't tax me. I don't think you know you're very, saying? Don't very make sincere. it seem like I got you rather like not have to live in a society where you I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. I'm well, so so are you saying that Southern blacks are more friendly? Um, I, yes. Definitely. So 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 New Orleans and Atlanta and Memphis are safe cities, in your opinion? Um, Charlotte. Charlotte, no, we should just some fuckery. No, no, you should well, no, no, hang on. No, this is important, though. Like, if we're gonna understand your no, logic, I'm to help you understand. No, they I know, but you're them. no, we're trying to help no, you I'm understand. Baton Rouge, do you oh, think Memphis, do you think Memphis, New Orleans, Atlanta are safe cities? Major America, they're all a major American cities as it stands are violent. All of them. Yeah, because, because of the Democrats. Of one particular oh, because reason. Because of the Democrats, Down right? South Coast Southern people are not friendly. What kind of Is it because of the that? Democrats? That they're it's the me? Venezuelans, dog. <laughs> Y'all are some clowns. Must this be is, the some, is crazy. Y'all are well, crazy. I mean, we just kind of disproved your theory, <laughs> and now you're calling us clowns. Hey, honey, I'm telling you, there's a difference in Southern hospitality and grace. And oh, they shoot stuff. you in the with, face with, instead with of the back? In the that, face. that applies to normal people, though. I know a lot of people. That's a violent one, I know a lot of people that say good afternoon. I know a lot of people that say good afternoon, good morning, good night, and still shoot you. I ain't never experienced that. Ever. Well, that applies to the normal. Well, you, you, you haven't I, been to you haven't been to you been to Atlanta. Has that happened? You been to Atlanta? No, you been to Atlanta? Yes, I have. I was actually there two weeks ago. I'm but black. Has that ever I'm, to you? I'm have black. You ever said good evening to someone and they shot you. I'm that's black. My, you. Listen, to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm black. My whole life, I've never been scared of a white person. My whole me, life. You want people? 
you know, you know, you know, people are the whole the people I've been in danger of my whole life to rob, rob me, try to shoot me, try to kill me. Guess who they were? Were they black? They Spanish. were black. Same well, that's right. funny. I'm sorry you had that experience. I've never experienced that. I've never experienced that's not my experience. So I can't speak on that. I can't confirm it. You're, not, you're not being genuine. You're, not, you're, you're not being genuine. You say you had several family members who were murdered? Yes. They were uh, murdered, two, presumably two by cousins by... and an uncle. All of them were um, in, in a street altercation. You see what I'm saying? Like, but, if, but, if these, you yeah. business, but these dudes kill innocent people all the time. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes. Like I said, you there. Random acts of violence happen. Yes, they do. Very, Absolutely. Most of them we like but to, when you ask like me about my move. people, you ask me about my folks, I said that my people now, were not random acts of violence. What, what would you say if I majority, told you that? Hold on. Hold on. Please. Hold on. You've been so, talking oh, the entire on. night nonstop. Hey, Can you so stop fine. talking you for a second? Right, what, you the boss? You, you the master man? Fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's, in, it's, in, it's in the plantation, how huh, black? It's in the plantation. Right? Great. So, I, I think this. I think this is the plantation, but the slave owner is black. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Well, there thank was you. some black slave right owners, though. But, there um, was some no, black. No, no, but no, straight up though. Um, I, again, no, 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 straight up. What would you say if I? What would you say if it, I told you of of the seven hundred or so mass shootings that have occurred in the country this year? Four more people shot. That ninety five percent of them have been black people. I, I would say that's sad. Okay. What do you want me to say? That, that's what do you want me to that. say? That's insane. Yes, it's sad. It, it's it, American. It's Remember, there's nobody more American than the Negro. spraying bullets into the streets every, of American cities at random. That, everything that black people are doing is 100% American because we 100% American. It's not 100%. It'll it's probably, it's happening. So, so do you so think Haiti so is a safe so country? Because I'm sure my family was here before yours. So if it's, or so Jamaica. Are not or Jamaica or, or anywhere in Sub-Saharan Africa. This was our country before they... Yo, they, they, what's they the word? Uh, they anyway, look, people. y'all. I'm about to um go to sleep. It's super late. You be safe. Um, I think hold, on, hold, on, hold on for one second. We got somebody from Chicago. You got a question for her, um, Crook County? Oh, no. Nah, I was just listening to her, okay. man. She got... You hey, know, so, like, Crook, I know you got a question, man. man. No, 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 so, man. I'm, I'm gonna let her ride, man. Hey, we so, appreciate so, so, you, though. Yeah. So, so, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So, hell so hell are we man. taking bets on the likelihood that Chicago's flipping red in the next election? Oh, you know, oh, yeah. come it's on, man. <laughs> hey, look, check it out. Check it out. Led by on the crest by Sun me, people. Hey, Crook hey, listen, 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 y'all, listen. All right. So that that's just the right there, right? Y'all expectations when it comes to like a black, a semi-conservative, or you know what I'm saying, whatever, yeah, it can't like be movie. Candace Owens, dog. Like that's this is yeah, right that's here. True. She's she's that's the true. elite for uh a black conservative woman in the liberal ass city. Like, yeah. yeah, she still got hella like liberal fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? She's a sister, but like, it's just like, dude, she grew up around none but some people, yeah, her uncle sure. some people. She's used to the some people environment. She still but, believes in a lot of, you know, liberal talking points. But, but she's trying. She's but trying. Do you think they're going to flip them? Hell no. Hell <laughs> no. You convinced me, bro. I used to think that the way, the way they talk, Kirk County, I thought they were going to flip. And then I talked to you and you, were, I was like, nah, they not. Listen, bro, this shit be read before the fucking first ballot is fucking recorded. I mean, blue. The, the, the first, the first yeah. time they run some national story right. on right. some son person getting victimized by the police, any ground they gained is going to be lost. I might even, <laughs> I might even yeah, go for Biden. That's the I thing. might even go for Biden. You're out here saying that, oh, I'm crossing the street because gliders are coming down here and I might get jacked by these drug-addled <laughs> gliders. Like, like fucking gliders walking around in the south yeah. side of Chicago. Shit. She's full of shit yeah. about this. She don't believe that. Fuck? She don't believe that. She There's no way she... Shit. She can't... She can't her. She can her herself. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's full of shit. Yeah, I, I tried to be patient until uh, until she went about the whole uh, Southern Blacks or... Yeah, say, somehow more genial. Um, I mean, in a lot no, of ways, maybe, but... Uh, I straight up told her I thought yeah. she was lying. Yo, they'll say please and thank you for they kill you. Before they take uh, you. Please and thank you. Can I have them keys? Please and thank you. 
Let me um let me let me move along. Please take the five dollar challenge or the ten dollar challenge via PayPal or the cash chat or the super chat. Um please continue to hit the like button as you guys come in. And those of you who have been here and have forgotten to hit the like button, please hit the like button. Um let's move along, man. Um well, the family of a 15-year-old boy who was shot and killed in Binghampton on Thanksgiving morning cannot understand why the suspected murderer is back on the streets tonight. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Pepper Baker. And I'm Rudy Williams. Now, one of the teens charged in that boy's murder is walking free after bonding out. Now, the question so many are asking tonight is, why? Well, a short while ago, our Stephen Pimpo sat down with the judge who made that decision. And Stephen, what did you learn today? Rudy Pepper, Judge Bill Anderson Jr. told me that while he can't comment on ongoing cases, decisions like this one actually give him the authority to monitor and place restrictions on suspects. The victim's grandmother feels otherwise, telling me the 15-year-old's murder has left a hole in her heart that will never be filled. I rushed over to my mom's house and I saw my nephew laying in the street with a bullet hole in the back of his head. That's what Robert Tomlinson says happened to his 15-year-old nephew early Thanksgiving morning when he was shot outside his grandmother's house in Binghampton. Memphis police say 18-year-old Edio White and six fall. another 15-year-old were arrested and charged with first-degree murder during the perpetration of a robbery. Monday, White was released on his own recognizance. I don't understand why this guy was let go after murdering my nephew. Get this oh. guy off the street. Judge Bill Anderson Jr. is the one who one thing about that letting people go like that that's very dangerous is that yeah. you have a person who's been killed, you have a family who's grieving, and let's just say that person lives on that block. Let's say the kid who killed him lives on that block. They have to see this motherfucker. They have really? to see this little fucktard because you gotta understand. Black kids are different, right? So a black kid would 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 he's thinking, oh, niggas gonna think I'm scared. I ain't scared to still go outside. I go outside, I sit on the porch, I ride my bike up and down the street. Fuck that. I ain't scared. I know so what I kill because we thinking all of what other people were thinking. So we oh, gonna no, come outside. Don't scare me. Yeah, yeah, we gonna come outside and be visible to his family. To prove that you know what I'm saying we ain't scared, even though we killed yeah, no a family member. Well, I ain't no yeah, bust. So it's man. like you got you you and, and you putting trauma like on people. They gotta see this person who's killed. Like he walking down the street with his girlfriend or some shit, or he driving in the car with loud music. They sitting in, out in front of his house playing NBA Young Boy and shit. You look out the window. It's the, Motherfucker who killed your fucking nephew or some shit like two days ago and shit. Cause son's not gonna hide. It's not like son gonna be in his house with the shades drawn and shit. You know what I'm saying? Son gonna be outside. Hell no, we go to the store. We about to go to the store. <laughs> go get some shit to roll up. Fuck. Go look for some bitches and shit. Like what? At the crib? Son might know you, his family, and be up in your face, making eye contact with you. Like what's up? Sons are sick, especially when they're like this on the street and you know running around shooting. So I think judges don't take that into consideration the trauma that they put the family through when you let the um when you let the shooter out and he he's from the same area as the family of the victim. Arrested and charged with first degree murder during the perpetration of a robbery. Monday, White was released on his own recognizance. I don't understand why this guy was let go after murdering my nephew. Get this guy off the street. Judge Bill Anderson Jr. is the one who presided over that bond hearing and made the decision. Without referring to this case specifically, Judge Anderson says the reason he makes this type of ruling is that it allows him to place restrictions on the person involved, such as curfew such as drug testing, et cetera, et cetera. He's a but fucking idiot. Put those restrictions on. Yeah, but why couldn't you just have him in jail? You could do it all. Like he'd have a hell of a yeah. curfew in jail. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, the best curfew. His ass hey. can't go nowhere. What the fuck? He, yo, this guy's an idiot. It's such a... Uh, I don't know what he's thinking. Um, such as curfew, such as drug testing. Etc. Et what do you expect? But I can only put those restrictions on them if I uh, release them 
on their own recognizance. Judge Anderson says that if he sets a bond and a bail bond <laughs> company pays it, they become responsible for monitoring that person. I can't control it because the bail bond company that got this person out, they don't have to listen to me. They're a private industry. Wednesday, State Senator Brent Taylor criticized Judge Anderson for his stance DNA. and that his, quote, contempt for the bail system influences his decisions. Judge Anderson says state lawmakers such as Senator Taylor can remove bail bond companies from the process. He may not like the results, but uh, he's in a position to change them. And if he wants to change them, that's his prerogative. And Judge Anderson also says the root cause of these problems goes back to the easy access to guns, which is also the responsibility of the state legislature.